Kimo Hussey, this is uh, Jonah Davis, and Hello, he, as you can tell, he's a wonderful, wonderful ukulele player. Uh, <laughs> one of the fun things we get to do is uh, is talk story and play music. Uh, we we took care of the eating part just before this, uh, <laughs> so now it's a matter of talking story and playing music. Uh, and it's not only a matter of uh, getting to know and listening to a wonderful player like Jonah. Uh, but we come to you uh, today to also share um, good ukuleles. So um, uh, before before we get to the playing part, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your ukulele that you're playing? Oh, this is a divine. Um, as far as the body style, I don't know what it's called, but it's really pretty. Um, there's a what do you call this? Sound port? A side port? Uh -huh. Side port? Uh -huh. Something uh -huh. like that? Yeah, and like. These are very new to me, guys, but it's beautiful. Uh, Divine is pretty awesome. Cool wood, beautiful work right here. What was it? Around the, the sound hole. Beautiful core. That's as far as I know. How about the sound? Do you like the sound? The <laughs> sound is great, though. What do you like about the sound? I like that it's very crisp. It's very uh, bright. Uh, not too bright, though. It's really good when you're doing like a really nice, warm, Melody like real melodic sound. Yeah, like like even even if you're gonna start doing some jazz <laughs> I love the low end on it. Yeah, oh, cool. It's not too deep. I love that low end deep. too. Yeah I kind of, uh, uh, my own preference uh, mm. for sound on a ukulele is more toward the uh, the low and mellow, yeah, as opposed to high and bright. Mm -hmm. And it's not a matter, mm -hmm. you know, it's not a matter of uh, uh, good or bad. It's a matter of preference. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It definitely yeah, is because there are lots, there are lots of different ways to change the sound of a ukulele. Sometimes. Sometimes maybe we think yeah. uh, that uh, we're we're limited uh, in changing sound just to low G or high G. Uh huh. But there uh, there there's so so many other things uh, that can affect the sound uh, of an ukulele, especially especially if it's a high quality ukulele made by a very good builder. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, action, pretty good, easy to play. Action is great. Yeah, it's super easy really soft on the fingers you know the better the action the softer it is yeah mm. you know the lower because it doesn't take as much pressure to press and play and to hold you know yeah yeah action is amazing on this guy let's play something cool sounds good jonah um, davis on an eric divine ukulele <coughs> let's do a let's do a maui song Nakapuna. okay yeah
So good, so good. Hey, let me tell you about this uh, this treasure. Uh, the ukulele was made by Raul Schoenbrand. Uh -huh. um, he's uh, he's a good friend. Lives in Kailua. Ah. Uh -huh. um, tenor uh, tenor ukulele. This one also has uh, has a side port. But the best thing about this ukulele is the sound. Uh -huh. Is the sound. Um, we just played a Hawaiian song, and one of the things you did was play. Um, uh, yeah, I did uh, a turn of, in there. Part of a jazz tune. Yes, yes. But one of the things, uh, one of the things about ukulele is that it's very versatile. Yes, yes. Uh, and so, so, so one of the things about high quality ukes is that uh, you can be just as versatile in the music that you play. This, for example. After that. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try this song. The song is uh, called Neneu. Um, so, for most people who's familiar on the Wainai side, um, Pokaibe, Pokaibe, very, very well-known spot, right? The actual name of the area is called Neneu. Oh. That's the actual name of the area. So, <coughs> this song uh, talks about that area. Uh, Pokaibe. So that whole area is known as Neneu. So this song talks about that area. So oh. written by um, a prominent uh, family uh, in um, the Waianae area. Oh, this is cool. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too familiar with the song Neneu and I feel bad because I'm from Kalihi. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but but I don't know a song named Kalihi. Yeah, no, so, no more. So let's why. do Neneo. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more, ahead, no more. So we got we got Neneo, we got Neneo. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So Neneo.
Here we go. Huh? Yeah. Oh, this is your song, huh? No, <laughs> give me, give me, give me. That's a song, uh, I think uh, Kobai Kake did that song. Yeah, a long time ago. That, I think Kobai Kake did that song. We're, we're trying to figure out... Probably, probably, yeah. I'm probably going to have to go back and listen to yeah. the song. Yeah, to see. Yeah. You know, one of the fun things... Uh, one of the fun things about these ukuleles... Okay, here. Uh, I want to say something about these ukuleles and mm. playing them. And while I'm saying that... You got to think of another song we're going to play, okay? <laughs> I, I said first I said first off put the pressure on you. Yeah. Okay, one of the one of the great great things about uh, about what we get to do and share with you uh, is the fact that we we hardly ever hear two ukuleles played in ensemble. Mm. Uh, you know, like in a duet. We're accustomed to uh, ukulele being chalangalang. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which is uh, you know, which is uh, which is kind of cool. Yeah, uh, and we're accustomed to ukulele maybe being played as a solo instrument. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's right. But the ukulele, right. if 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 you ask it, mm -hmm. is is an extremely versatile instrument. Very extreme. And and played in partnerships, uh, like what we're doing now. Uh, is is just really wonderful and good fun. So we can play like two tenors, we can play a soprano and a tenor, a tenor and a baritone, um, two baritones. Uh, so it's just wonderful. Let's do yeah. another one. Okay, um, so yeah, so let's do a song. Uh, instrumental. Uh, since you said chalang lang, we'll keep it around chalang lang. -ish. Okay, I'm going chalang lang. Okay. And you, then you I'm going to play do the instrumental. Yeah. So we'll do, <laughs> it's actually a Caribbean number actually. Um, song called Yellowbird, song that I learned in uh, in Wigan, uh, a long time under Mr. Camarillo. I made some adjustments to the song, made it my own a little bit, but simplified, fun. <clears throat> One of the songs that I like to teach to my my students. Oh, cool! Start teaching, buddy.
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a fun one. Okay, um, what a wonderful visit. So so let's end this visit by playing one more last one. Buddy. <laughs> sure, I'll follow you. Whatever you want to do. Oh, what's your lady? Do you know love? Bum 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 bum. I'll tell you what, I'll play another one. You'll know this one. Blue Bayou, Blue Bayou. Yeah. That one? Okay, 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 okay. Play this in uh, F, F. so much okay rather than play one more we're gonna end right here thank you so much oh. jonah davis eric divine ukulele rollo shore and brand ukulele aloha